Welcome to our podcast. In this episode, we explore the discovery of mysterious microbes in Yellowstone's hot springs and their potential link to extraterrestrial life. Scientists have found two never-before-seen groups of microbes that live in the hot springs of Yellowstone National Park, United States. The discovery, made by researchers from Montana State University, was published in the journal Nature. The study, titled Cultivation and Visualization of a Methanogen of the Phylum Thermoproteota, revealed that the new microbe groups are dubbed Methanomethalicia and Methanodes alfocora. They are methanogens, single-celled organisms that produce methane. Methanogens, known to science since 1933, are methane-producing bacteria, especially an archaean which reduces carbon dioxide to methane, unlike humans and other animals who eat food, inhale oxygen, and exhale carbon dioxide to survive. The findings of the research may have implications for the search for extraterrestrial life and the fight against climate change. It was earlier believed that all bacteria that produced methane belonged to a single phylum called Uriarchaeota. Now the discovery of the two new microbial groupings confirms that methane-producing microorganisms are more diverse. They were previously only identified from DNA samples. Methane is a gas that is 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide when it comes to trapping heat in the atmosphere. In a statement, microbiologist Roland Hudson Pickler of Montana State, an author of the paper, said, all we knew about these organisms was their DNA. No one had ever seen a cell of these supposed methanogens. No one knew if they actually used their methanogenesis genes or if they were growing by some other means. Two distinct study groups, one from China and the other from the US, have succeeded in cultivating these microorganisms in the lab, confirming that they actually produce methane. The finding is significant as methanogens produce 70% of the world's methane, with Hudson Pickler saying, Methane levels are increasing at a much higher rate than carbon dioxide, and humans are pumping methane at a higher rate into the atmosphere than ever before. Scientists are still trying to find out whether methanomethalicia, in non-extreme conditions, grows by using methanogenesis, or if they use some other mechanism they may be able to change the circumstances in their habitats and reduce the amount of methane released into the atmosphere if they comprehend this. My best bet is that they sometimes grow by making methane and sometimes they do something else entirely, but we don't know when they grow or how or why. We now need to find out when they contribute to methane cycling and when not, Hudson Pickler said. Newsweek said in its report that the exobiology program of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration also funded the research. The U.S.-based space agency is invested in methanogens because they may give insights into life on Earth more than three billion years ago, as well as hint at the potential for life on other planets and moons where methane has been detected. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.